about one lady on her journey so i've also done things like that earlier also but it is the connection between the new generation and the such in these kind of times and for to naya safar uh, the intention is to bring forward stories of hope and positivity uh, you know as we are learning to coexist with the pandemic any kind of creative writing always reflects the time that uh, it has been written even if it's a period piece you are writing if you are writing it in today's we do write it in relation to what we are thinking i feel as an actor i should not let out too much of myself all the time on show i don't need to also do it hello i'm neena kulkarni hi this is shikha makan and you're watching me on e times Hi, this is Amina Sheikh here, and with me today I have Nina, Ma'am, and Shikha, who are going to talk about their latest web series, of course, which already had a part one, but we are looking forward to part two of Unpost. So, welcoming both of them on E Times. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thanks uh, to you also, Shikha. I saw the trailer. The trailer looks quite good because there are different directors coming with their own journeys, with their stories and all. And I saw Nina Mam's, uh, you know, special video, and that was very good. And I have always loved her acting. So to have her on board and for this special, you know, episode, can you tell something about it? Okay, so our story is, uh, you know, part of Unpaused, as you know, uh, which is relating to the pandemic realities that we are living in. uh and uh, i think in unpost to naya safar uh, the intention is to bring forward stories of hope and positivity uh you know as we are learning to coexist with the pandemic unlike the first season which was more intense uh, in the ways of looking at how pandemic was you know had brought everything to a standstill and life has moved on and we have to learn to cope with it so um, uh us segment may uh, frankly i haven't seen the rest of the films i've also seen the trailer <laughs> for the vignettes of the other films which look very interesting uh you know and topical to me our story is um, uh a story which is um, uh you know <clears throat> is actually a story of human connections uh, which is has two parts to it there is a part of the mother jaisa you know the name suggests to you gon ke laddu sounds like something uh, very special something that belongs to you uh, mm-hmm. it speaks of a culture it speaks of uh, you know a mother's love if she has made these laddus so now in my story uh, essentially uh, the laddu becomes uh, a literal box of sweets which a mother wants to send across to her daughter but at the same time is uh, like a metaphor of like i said uh, uh, you know making connection between um, different people uh, and so which goes into the second part of the story uh, which is about a delivery agent you know the delivery boys associates are also have been in the front run for us uh, you know and their lives and realities are also something that we've been uh, we've suddenly become aware of because of the pandemic so gon ke laddu kind of makes a connection with a very interesting twist uh and a piece of surprise so i think this is a kind of story which will bring a smile on your face it has an unexpected touch to it but it's also very realistic and very relatable in the times that we are in nina ma'am how was it playing this role for you 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 know that that motherly character comes in you whenever we see you on screen and you have played such different characters but this one is a bit special because you know because of the way the series talks about how people are struggling during this covid you know entire scenario and there's a special chemistry between you and your daughter which shows you know on screen actually so what do you have to say about that uh it's it's a very sweet character or uh, it's a very real character what i loved about sushila ji ji she's very very real i mean she could be me she could be any other senior citizen who's a mother and mm-hmm. uh, and she and uh, her, her wants in life are also very simple and sweet i mean mm-hmm. the the name gon ke laddu uh, suggests that also there's a lot of warmth in that when you say gon ke laddu they are given only on special occasions you know mm-hmm. when uh, to strength because they they come with a lot of power in them so uh, i think that i fell in love with the title first and then of course when i read the story i fell more in love with it uh, and it's not only about sushila ji see if it's only about one lady on her journey so i've also done things like that earlier also but it is the connection between the new generation and the sub 
in these kind of times. Hmm. So that has it was very very interesting for me, and uh, uh, I uh, I can't say it was you know actually the shooting and all was like a whirlwind. So we, because there was so much to do, and we we were shooting on location, hmm. and uh, Shikha was there to guide me, and we kind of took the journey together. I think after some time. both of us sailed into it together <laughs> and uh, it was great fun i have to say it was really one of the most fun shoots i've had and shooting fun me not uh, having fun when nobody there was no time for no shooting so uh, <laughs> i no fun parties. shooting yeah <laughs> most fun shooting actually yeah. i'm seeing also during this lockdown you also saw a lot of shift and changes taking place in terms of the content which is you know being produced uh, you know o- overall you know over the years you know we would say there has been like you know a lot of masala content content you know where people would be like in ma- masi content about but now right now during this pandemic especially to you know and of course you know over the years we have seen different content also but you know uh, in this pandemic the content is very emotional it has quite that you know it tries to focus on an equation between a mother and a daughter or a mother and a son or a husband wife or you know between the friends and all so do you somehow feel that you know this pandemic is also a way of you know opening eyes for a lot of you know content creators for that matter what do you have to say on that yeah i would like to talk about this definitely see i personally feel that any kind of creative writing always mm-hmm. reflects the time that uh, it has been written even if it's a period piece you're writing if you're writing it in today's piece you write it in relation to what is happening to you that's when things like a game game of thrones and all is coming to existence you know or yeah. a harry potter for that matter yeah. uh, so it's always the need of that particular hour and that particular time is when creative writing uh, comes into existence so it will always be a reflection of the times that we're going through Mm. and uh, i think for this particular story this is what i found great that it was absolutely present day mm. you know it was it was happening now it was not happening from four years ago when there were no masks mm. or there were no pandemic or there were uh, or things could be much simpler you didn't have to talk on video calls with daughters you know it mm. is happening now at time and we are actually living through it mm. so that was very interesting for me because otherwise the things that i was doing mostly are things you know Which are uh, maybe happened a couple of years ago, yeah. We uh, or there are some surreal things where you want you want to just forget that this is happening to you. But yeah. this story is very much in in this, and I think Unpause Anaya Safar also is about that. It's a journey. Unpause uh, the part one was about absolute lockdown. Yeah. Unpause Anaya Safar is the second time where now we have come. So we are living those times. So yeah. yes, it's a very present day thing. What do you have to say, Shikha, about this? Yeah, um, I definitely th- like extending from what Nina Ma'am is saying that uh, you know the stories are set here, and I think uh, for my piece, especially what I wanted to very simply portray is that the pandemic has also made all of us learn new ways of living and surviving. You know, sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zones and do things which we normally wouldn't do. So mm-hmm. that is what brings an unexpectedness to my story, and for everybody, you know, for a, for a, for something as a simple a wish of sending something to someone you love you know from or from saving the day uh, you know because something very un- unfortunate has happened to you uh, how are we saving out of these situations you know there are big issues that are bothering us which is about actually surviving a disease but at the same time there are also lots of smaller things like technologies are changing the way we communicate with each other are changing the things the way the world is operating now suddenly there are apps and you know there are you know we are dependent on delivery agents and courier boys and delivery associates so this world has changed and this world can bring its own set of simple simple problems which actually communicate larger things about our existence and um, that is what uh, you know i think is different uh, and uh, that is what uh, is interesting because it's realistic and here and now as we are talking about it and as you said you know that how you know now we have delivery apps we have so many you know facilities in a way we become digital savvy but at the same time being that digital savvy is also good but, but you know it also have the in the cons of you know being on social media being on digital platforms have you ever personally faced something like that where you know you have been cheated or you know you have been bullied on social media something like that for you shikha and even for you nina ma'am uh 
well uh, i think it's just about i don't know like of course everybody will have a bunch of experiences uh, but uh, most of the time since i read a lot and i you know always go to trusted partners and sites i haven't really had an experience but things like these do happen to people and a slice of that somehow there is there in the story also uh, but it's an important thing to address yes. and i'm glad you brought it up because it's also a sort of a hook in the story yeah. because the digital world is so new for so many of us you know ma'am you want to add ma'am yeah i mean you know in fact yes there is a part and see i am a serious citizen so for me say technology also is it although i'm pretty savvy on social media and mm-hmm. active on it but i also know the pitfalls mm-hmm. i mean uh, you know there are certain like i uh, you know changing of password from time to time or being active on something otherwise just get rid of it these little things even my children have uh, told me and so we we keep exchanging i keep interacting see i also work with a lot of youngsters hmm. so knowledge in, is always imparted to me in one way or the other you know because there been somebody even when we were doing a television show the girls are doing something and then they'll tell you so i take this kind of advice just to be updated with everything uh it is scary you know it, it's a scary world and it's like uh, every day something new is coming but see eventually you have to know what to trust and what not to trust and as she said trusted partners and all is what you look out for mm. but yes i am uh, i i i do uh, use technology a lot and uh, i try my best to be safe from it <laughs> I'm. Um, have you tried your hand on Insta Reels? I think. Uh, I think I've seen one two videos of yours where you have tried that. So how does that feel? Uh, you know what? I. I. It's all nice to be like I am on Instagram a lot, and uh, mm-hmm. I have good followers without uh, having made any effort to. You know, so I'm very proud of the followers that I have because they are real followers, mm-hmm. and. Uh, uh, and so for them you have to of course see reels and think like that they're a little too fast for me also i feel um, as an actor this is my personal opinion i i mean i don't want to undermine any of my colleagues who keep putting reels and keep putting or like in the middle of a tiktok which now you don't talk about for whatever reason obviously i mean for obvious reasons hmm. so uh, it was an invasion you know but uh, the uh, mouthing those dialogues or doing those songs i feel as an actor i should not let out too much of myself all the time on show i don't need to also do it hmm. so you have to be aware of that just because reels is there once in a way my dogs and all we do that that's okay hmm. but uh, all the time or i think one of my birthday video had gone viral because uh, it was a surprise party and yeah. it became a big but that was a real thing you know yeah. but otherwise with reels i don't really experiment and i don't really uh, do those things you know किसी का डायलॉग लेके माउथ करो एंड गाने पे डांस करो नो आई आई थिंक आई पास दैट एज आल्सो एंड आई फील एन एक्टर शुड कीप अ लिटिल बिट प्राइवेसी अबाउट हिज एक्टिंग टैलेंट डोंट गिव इट ऑन डिस्प्ले ऑल द टाइम सो देन जस्ट कीप इट स्लाइटली अंडर रैप्स अह आई फाइंड द द सोशल मीडिया वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मीडियम आई थिंक द वे इट्स ओपन कम्युनिकेशन एंड एक्सप्रेशन इज कमेंडेबल अह माय पर्सनल अप्रोच टू इट इज अम यू नो आई एम maybe it's it's like an orientation and a, uh, and the way that uh, much to say i have evolved as a filmmaker uh, i only go to social media when i have something to say um otherwise i'm a very private person i feel i i enjoy watching stuff that some people do but uh, if i don't have anything to say i mean there are many things for me which are part of life which i don't feel like underlining yeah. so it's not part of my social media world and whenever there is something to say i do take time out and uh, create something using these great fantastic tools which are totally different yeah. from uh, the professional filmmaking that we do for broadcast you know the broadcast filmmaking has a it's a different animal altogether it's a different <laughs> technology altogether versus um, this very empowering technology of phones so yeah that's my take also ever since this covid the shooting experiences have changed yeah for the actors it's not the same anymore you have to go through test you have to check whether you can come for the you know shooting or not the schedules are getting you know postponed or not you know and that is where the business is suffering a lot in the entertainment industry what are your thoughts on that i think there is definitely a difficulty of uh, you know shooting because you have to like for this project the protocols were very stringent and we had to abide by them and fortunately you know we were we were all safe uh, the bubble sort of as much as you can maintain and function mm-hmm. in it 
um business takes a hit uh yeah i mean i also do a lot of tv ads and we've been seeing this flow up and down i think it impacts all industries it's not just the entertainment industry which has taken a hit uh, i mean some some businesses actually have flourished uh because you know the businesses are aiding or supporting the pandemic in a way that is need the need to be functioning but uh, it's it's tricky for entertainment industry you know it's it's really like i mean it's nothing compared to let's say the healthcare providers or even the delivery agents because there is no no for them uh, you know if we have the luxury the possibilities and uh, you know uh, the possibilities actually to work around dates and schedules yes but it's also not possible all the time i guess that's the struggle and part of coexistence and it's pretty much same for everyone at this moment what do you have to say nina ma'am because you know for actors yeah. it's been quite difficult in fact there have been yes, actors it is. who have yes. suffered a lot of loss and following which some of them have also tried committing suicide some also passed away while trying to you know uh, bear the expense yeah it's it's a, it's a high and it's a low and it's it's a low as you know because then so how do you sustain as an actor that's that's your um, medium of getting you know of sustenance and that's that's when the whole problem starts no i have been fortunate enough to get work during pandemic and i've done it also despite mm-hmm. being a senior citizen but i'm vigilant i'm careful and i'm uh, very strict discipline mm-hmm. uh, and uh, of course as uh, shikha put it you know i mean the healthcare workers they're all out there but they need to be there mm-hmm. entertainment i i was questioning that also you know like for example if i was going somewhere my children would say do you really need to do that because i was doing a daily soap and we had to shift to uh, gujarat uh, for about two months that's when my children said you really need to do this i mean you can always just leave it right mm-hmm. why do you want to go and stay and uh, so i remember uh, i have to share this with you uh, so we were getting our rt pcrs done and uh, the lady who came to do my rt pcrs uh, she said you know i'm so glad i'm doing your rt pcr and i hope that it's going to be negative and i'm sure it is i said yeah i'm not paid it's just a, because i'm i have to go she said you know please go because when we go home that mm. is the only entertainment we have what you are providing us mm. so suddenly i felt oh my god we are in some odd weird way we are also contributing to uh, you know i mean these people who work so hard that woman is doing some 100 rt pcrs on a uh, on a daily basis but yeah. then she wants to go home to some television thing or some ott thing where she finds solace and a little bit of a relaxation and she said no no please do it and you know and we are so happy that you are being brave enough to go out and do it because what do we come home to otherwise then yeah we need some entertainment we need some relaxation so i said oh god we also have a small part in this whole thing and that of course then inspired me to definitely go ahead and do it uh it is difficult but i think you need to be disciplined hmm. i mean i there are people who are not but i think people who are working are disciplined Yeah. I mean, I've had experience of people when till they were working, they didn't get COVID. Moment they stopped working, and then they went to some wedding and they got COVID because <laughs> discipline over there has gone for a toss, you know, literally. But now that you know, hopefully the pandemic might end. We are hoping for that a lot. So I'm, we have to learn to live with it. I yeah. think so. That's it. that's the main thing. that's for sure because now it's like yeah. it's going on since two and a half years yeah. now it's, i i feel somewhere indians have accepted it like you know okay now it's a part and parcel yeah. of lives in a way but what is keeping you both busy after this project <laughs> this and that <laughs> she can add any more thing in the pipeline surprise surprise <laughs> well yeah there are projects in the pipeline uh, there is a feature and a web series for me I uh, can't talk too much about it. Uh, still in the pipeline. I'm sure there's interesting stuff Nina Ma'am is coming up with. Yeah, I've done a, a, another anthology, which I don't know. I mean, it's still I've just the first part is only done, so that's another very interesting, very different premise. And uh, there are two films which uh, I have said yes to, and one they're supposed to be shot in February, March. One is a Hindi film, one is a Marathi film. So let's see. Fingers crossed that everything goes well and we are able to shoot those films because at the end of the day, that's what we do and that is what our work is and that is what we love to do. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.